great. Gene Vincent, yeah. Gene Vincent the greatest. He, he's good, he's good, but if he don't play for us, you know, like South or that, he's a big see, wanker. See, if it, if it, <laughs> he's, he's trying to appeal to the skinheads and all that, but he ain't going to do it. We're his fans. The only way he's going to get good dates is to get the Teds in, wear his levers and all that, like he's always has done. What's a skinhead? Granddad's braces. Yeah. No, no, pair of old jeans. Yeah, shimmy the blacks. No air. Shimmy the blacks. They're <laughs> smart. How can they be but smart man, like that? With good girl in the sun. Can we try it again? Good girl in the sun. Don't lose it to all. Good girl in the sun. So does the lust of all. When you're walking out of the wood, and you're on my own call. That don't be on the early morning, early, early, early night. So much money rocking in my house with two lights. Good girl in the sun. How are you? Fine. Good to see you back in Great Britain. Thank you. It's very nice to be here. Have you had a, an almighty welcome here? I mean, yeah, I know you've probably been hustled everywhere since you've arrived at the airport. Uh, well, it's very nice. I'm very kind of people come and see me. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to ask you about six or seven questions here because I want to rush this up so it comes out on the show in time. Right. The first one is, uh, what is your main reason for returning after uh, the long, uh, the last visit here to the, at the UK, in the UK? Well, the, the main, main reason is promotion of the record. You know, uh, I've got a new record out. I'm going to have a new album out in January. And uh, I want to promote it. Yeah. Where did you where did you get your backing group now for this particular tour that you're doing in England? Do you well, know the fellows from the last time you were here, or uh... no? I've, ju I've just met them for the first time, but uh, they seem like very nice. Good vibrations. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah very nice fellows. All right. Uh, can you tell us anything about your current loves and hates since we last saw you here in Great Britain? Uh, well, I love my wife, and my dog, and uh, um, my hates is French groups. <laughs> because they never turn up, you know, I couldn't <laughs> believe it, you know. I, I, they'd book a, a place, and I'd go to the place, and uh, I'd say, no, look, fellas, be there, you know, a couple hours be before the show. I'd turn up, and no group. Gene, thank you very much. Thank you, Roscoe. And we'll see you on tour. Right. See Bye. You. Bye now. Rock on! No, every time I come to England, I catch a cold. Every time I come. I'll always get a cold first. Do you wait as soft as possible, or as we do it, we'll see what you think after that? Yeah, well, I want to say mama first. Fine, yeah. We'll run over that, and that's an A. One, 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 one. Okay. Yeah. Don't get it too loud. Just take it as, as, uh... Well, this room is small anyhow. Just, you know, turn it down. Keep it down, John. Yeah.
And then when we get on stage, when we run over it, just before we do the show, we can, we can you know, do it full life. Okay? I'm just going to sit down here, gentlemen. Put a face on it, we'll be ready. Before I fall down. Today, fellas. Do you, you, you know how it starts? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jump in any, any any place. You know, I can just come in any time. You know. Well, my baby, baby, baby. You, you don't come back to UG fast enough. Can, can I get the right? Let's try it last week. This is for Mr. John Peel and Mr. Adrian Owen, who's been so kind to me. I was a Exactly one hour to rehearse the people. You've got less than that, we've got to be there. Yeah, like oh, you've, got, well, you've got about uh, 30 minutes to rehearse. You've got, you've got about to be there with all the gear. Yeah, all, all the gear. gear. John, all the gear. Get, up, get upstairs, go and see Johnny, tell him to take the car, go and get the van, bring it over here. Right. So I'll tell the guy we can do it? Eh? Yeah. Fair enough. Go and get the van, somehow and bring it back. I have to do it. Yeah. Have you got your gear? Well, we could probably get ours together. I'll be all right. Adrian's got a fast car. Well, look, man, do the best you can. Have you got uniforms? Yeah. Johnny, um, look, if you've got a uniform, go in the window at the back. All right, it's got to be broke, it's got to be broke, all right? And uh, just lay it, whatever, sorry, whatever stage gear you've got, you can find, just pick it up, bang it in a bag and bring it over. Yeah, okay? Just the van. Yeah, the van and the stage gear, that's it. As far as I can remember. Where do we get where do we get people? Well, he's, got it on, he's got it on the tape, you know. Oh, oh we're not. Oh. Where is it? Adrian's got it. Got it. It's, it's, the tape. Got, yeah, it's on the tape upstairs. No, hey, Adrian's got oh, it. Oh, yeah, we've got it. Well, we, we got about uh, 20 minutes to last money. Yeah. Just don't get nervous. Just right. keep calm and we'll be all right. I don't even know yet. We better get up and listen to it and stop on the other side. Well, he'll bring it down here. I'll bring it down here. Yeah, we'll start the belly, can we? Um, <laughs> what? What? Psychedelic? What's he done? Psychedelic? What? Now what are you talking about? 
I don't know. It's in the start, I think. It wasn't in the beginning. Uh, it wasn't at the beginning. Let's go the other way. Had to run that way for quite a long way. Yeah, I'm used to it, but not 30 minutes rehearsal before television, you know. At, at, least, at least I can wash my face now. I've got to shave, you know. That'll take me 10 minutes. Huh? Yeah, it's on, yeah, it's on, but you know, I've got to rehearse the, the, can you find the number? We can't find the number on the thing. Oh, come on, man, get to get the song. You know, we haven't got much time now. Then, will you mind? I'm doing it live, that's why I got you here, man. That's why we're rehearsing it. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I know, well, I was just, no, just said. No, when you said we do it. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, we'll do it. I'm not sure. Look, look, it'll take us about 15 minutes to rehearse if he ever finds the thing here. It'll take me about 10 minutes to shave. That's all. Just keep the same. Do what you want. Keep the same sequence. Was up this, I was there, me and well, him both. We were both were there. All, all, all we had to do was stop practicing half hour, two hours earlier. Yeah. 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 I'm there, more smoking. What am I doing with two faces? Yeah. No, all we had to do was knock it off. All we were speaking was chatting, doing nothing, walking yeah. about. Yeah. Well, sir.
It's not the most weird organization. Yeah. It's the same goddamn thing as the Gestapo. The same identical thing. Only Hitler ran the Gestapo. Yeah. And the CIA runs the president. It's just the difference. Uh, yeah. The president don't run the country anymore. It's a goddamn secret police. And that's just about what's wrong with the students and everybody else in the United States right today. They know it. Yeah, but who runs the CIA? The president don't know, don't know who runs the CIA. He don't know. Nobody knows. It's secret. It's a secret place. Okay. There's more room in here if, if you uh, if you want. What is this this money for tomorrow? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, they'll rub it out. Yeah, you you it the bread for tomorrow night, right? Mm. You've got to pick that up the whole lot. Yeah, where? When? After the show, because Gene's going to get his money and you're going to get your money. before the show, great. So don't any aggro. I'm picking my up. Well, fine. We'll leave Gene to get yeah. ours Same as well, we did in Brussels. The same, before you go on, yeah. you get your bread, that's it. Yeah. Otherwise, we're all going to get rolled and that'll be that. I mean, I hate to do it that way, Graham. But well, you've got to, Gene. You've got to. You've got no money. You can't yeah. afford to do it. Can you pick up ours, Gene? Yeah. It's time to pick the lot up. Yeah. 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 Together. I had a golf ball. Who's mm -hmm. the golf ball? I want to know where the golf ball is. Then I've got to get a pet in this game, right? Can you just lean a little more into the base and just so that I can get a sail off the cat? Do you like heater point or anything on it? Who? Vita point. Who's he? It's a bit greasy, though, the greasy cream. Do you know? I'll get Samson in the tube. No, God. No? I think if you're going on that, we better put a hairnet on you. Oh, no, come on. Because yeah. otherwise your hair will stand on end. Yeah, you know, it gets very windy and all your hair gets up on end. Oh, come on now. <laughs> no, you're not going to take that, are you? I'm not going to film it. Oh, no. No, it's not come fair. On. It's not very flattering, is it? You comb your hair how you like it and sit down here, and then I'll bring the dryer over to you. I wonder where you've been robbed about being here. Oh, no. Oh, no. There must be a better way to make a living than must be. Well, no, but you can't like that, do you? Hmm? <laughs> but it won't go on, Mrs. Strauss. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, really, now. Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? That doesn't look awful. I look like a girl. <laughs> I like the voice level, but we still like the voice level for sound. <laughs> 
put it right down into shot. Well, it was right there, wasn't it? Sit down with Henry and talk about the money. Because like I you say one thing, Henry says another. Henry Henry just phoned up now on the road. And Henry wants to see Gene tonight at the hotel at eight o'clock. We're talking about the business thing. Yeah, but he's got all the papers there. He's got all the papers there. And um Now for the weekend shoppers. Um, beef and lamb are the same price as last week. Pork has gone up about threepence a pound. Turkey should be good by at present. The fishmongers waiting are from two shillings to half a pound a pound. Kippers are three shillings a pound in cod fillets, around four and sixpence. And to go with the meat of fish, sprouts, tenpence a pound, cabbages and greens, about eightpence. Now then, rock and roll fans will have no difficulty putting a name to this face. It is, of course, Gene Vincent, who's just arrived in London. Tonight, with the Wild Angels, we give you, and he gives you, Bebop Balula. <laughs> She's the woman that loves me so great. She's the one that gels a moment.
come, you know. The man's talking complete nonsense, you know. A thousand francs is worth approximately seven, 70 quid. It might be a little more, a little less. But approximately, we'll say. And he's telling me it's worth 1,500 pounds, you know. He's a nut. I, I, I went to Paris. Jean, sorry. Yeah. Listen, Alan, sorry. What we're doing is, I've seen about the contracts and everything. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to ring up Monday morning, because apparently a certain gentleman rung and organized the contracts, which means that he could come along and pick up the bread. Now I'm going to ring this woman and find out exactly how much money is involved. There, there right. are nobody no, can pick up no bread because oh, I ain't signed no contract. That's right, no, exactly. And I'm going to come down here Monday because I'm free Monday, and I'll come down and I'll pick up the bread for you and for the boys. Okay? Monday. Monday. I don't, and they I can't do anything because they're closed now. The money's upstairs, and no one. Oh, oh, oh I mean, money here. Oh, 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 for tonight. Yeah. yeah. So we're all right. So everyone's going to get paid oh, for tonight. Oh, well, you, you know the television's all right. Yeah. <clears throat> That's not the point. But the money on well, for tomorrow night. Either, either I pick it up or I don't see. Well, you pick it up. Give them a beer can, man, they'll give you a car. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear about that needle that they had? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hear about that needle that they had? No, what's that? England, England made one of the finest needles in the world. You know? Yeah. It was so fine that you could hardly see it with the naked eye. Yeah. So they, they sent it around for an exhibition, you know. So the Japanese cut it in half, drilled it out, put one inside it, and sent it back. <laughs>
This is the hard part. Yeah. Waiting, waiting to rehearse, waiting to get on. Two of us in the room, no, you know. No. It's me and my roadie. Yeah. Do you want to share them? Yeah, me and my roadie. My road manager. Uh, uh, roadies. I put you in separate rooms. Is that all? No, me and him will stay in one room. He's got a girlfriend that'll stay in another. She'll check in when she comes. Oh. Because they're fiance. Well, I have to change your room then because this okay. is a room with a double bed. Oh, so I'll I have to give you a. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're awfully sweet, though. I didn't realize that you wanted to be a bit. No, he's, he's like a road man. You know, he takes care of my gear and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. I'll just go ahead and sign it in here, okay? I'll put your room 33. Then. Okay, fine. All right? There's not, not too many stairs there, is there? No, it's on the um, first floor. Okay. I'm always losing matches. Combs and... Does it fill up down there? Yeah. Do you think we'd better get down there, Jane? Yeah. Go ahead and I'll be up in a minute. I'm just gonna get some stuff. Right. Coming down now. Procedure is now after I finish my show, the manager is supposed to bring me my money with the receipts and so forth and so on. I'm supposed to sign them and leave. Well, being as I'm staying in this hotel over the night, I take the money, sign the receipts, pay the hotel bill in the morning and leave. Uh, which is not going to happen. You'll see the greatest scene you've ever seen in your whole life. You can make a movie just out of this.
I've done six for you boys downstairs as well. Oh, six. Would be that's the same six. I, I must have got it confused. Oh, dear, dear. I heard the law. Tell that man I want my money or there's going to be trouble. Go on, see him now. Tell him, I, tell the promoter I want my money or there's going to be trouble. <laughs> it's in my pocket, nine pence. Even you bought the sandwiches, you know. Yeah, but it gets embarrassing, man, you know. <laughs> The one that loves me so much. Thing, what I'm 
Yeah, it was great. great. Fantastic. 